Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Gohan B stage of the Ultimate Battle Spectacle Spectacle Spectacular The Ultimate Battle Spectacle uh, and of course the uh, Blue Zone as it's commonly referred to. And we're going to take on Gohan Beast. Now this team will also clear the 12 turn challenge. Uh, although however, you know, like I say, uh, of course, you know, there's plenty of teams I think that can actually do these events now. So I don't think it's necessarily uh, impossible or anything. I actually think this is very accessible for uh, Global because obviously, you know, like we have the Martian Brew Saga team. We have lots of different teams, lots of different stuff that's actually going on. So I think it's really, really good. Now, Gohan is a three-phase event. So Gohan is uh, three phases, basically, and he, to cut a long story short, is pretty tough. Um, obviously, he starts off as like base Gohan, uh, immune to stunning, immune to ceiling, raises his attack on his super, uh, all you know, decent stuff. But then you know he's also uh, goes into like ultimate Gohan, where he's immune to stunning, ceiling, attack, lowering, defense, lowering. He can negate key attacks and then also he raises his attack as well. So that's also quite challenging. Then the third phase is against Beast Gohan, where he's immune to stunning, ceiling, attack, lowering, defense, lowering, raises his attack, stuns you, locks your characters in place, has guard or reduces damage below a million, so you have to crit him. And he's, I think, like 80% guaranteed to super the first slot. So. It's a very, very, very difficult uh, situation for a lot of players. So, to be honest with you, it, it's tough. But I think because it's so short and because it's double physical typing, there is definitely, um, how can I say, there is definitely, you know, uh, like the ability for players to kind of make a uh, way with this. So I think like for a lot of players, they'll definitely be able to make a way with this. Uh, so I think you know, overall most players should be fine. So with that being said, um, obviously, you know, let's talk about the team. So we've gone with a future Saga team to a certain extent. Well, yeah, basically we've gone with future Saga. Uh, the reason we've gone with future Saga, uh, two reasons. So firstly, future Gohan. This is a great event for future Gohan. Uh, he has uh, a lot of really good abilities that really help him out here. So not only uh, is Future Gohan obviously strength type, which helps him a ton in the first and third phase, but he has guaranteed crits when he gets to 24 key. So what that means is, is we can really kind of chunk down the ultimate Gohan or the, the beast Gohan final phase super quickly, like very, very, very quickly. So Gohan at that point, very, very strong. And I think he's one of the crucial aspects as to why Future Saga feels really good for this. On top of that, though, we also have uh, a very, very steady two lineups defensively. Yeah, okay, we use an item. Okay, people say, oh, you have to use an item. Very steady, strong defensive lineups. Um, so, you know, most of these lineups are very, very consistent, uh, very powerful. Basically, um, to cut a long story short, uh, how it works is that one rotation is Future Trunks and uh, Gohan. So Gohan acts as a really strong tank in the first phase, allowing Trunks to get off some attacks. These attacks let Trunks, you know, basically uh, kind of do his thing, stacking uh, throughout the first physical and AGL phases. Then we have on the second rotation, uh, we have Zamasu and Zamasu. So we have Tech Zamasu uh, and AGL Zamasu. Yep, a lot of the reasons why Tex Master AGL's Master works functionally uh, and why it's such a like powerful thing for us is obviously again the quick pacing of the event. So Tex Master thrives in quicker environments. Future Gohan thrives in quicker environments, um, and you know the quick pacing of this event makes them very strong. Like comparative to Gogeta, which is a multi-phase event, uh, generally takes quite long to get to the final phase. The timings in this one work really, really well uh, for the Future Saga team. 
So AGL's mastery, tech's mastery, they do well, especially with an item, of course, Ooh, using an item, whatever. Anyway, especially with an item, they do really well. Like, they do really, really well. They control themselves incredibly well. They do a lot of really good stuff. So what happens is, is then you end up with a very strong team, uh, a team that functions very, very nicely, and, and is smooth. It functions smoothly, uh, really works well, and everything comes together quite nicely. So we have a good team from that aspect. Uh, then from there, to be honest with you, uh, things become, how can I say, uh, pretty straightforward. Gohan rotation, Trunks rotation, some master rotation, and then we're floating the blue boys. The reason we're floating the blue boys is not because they're not great, but because their damage output, especially in base form and even in Vegeta form, is lower than Trunks and, and Gohan, especially with my dupes. Um, now the Vegeta transformation is incredibly useful, and there is a reason why we bring them, because the active skill from Vegeta uh, allows them to pseudo tank, so they evade, then they become a pseudo tank, you know, they do all this really good stuff. Um, so the active skill from Vegito is huge in that regard. Uh, but on top of that, you know, like I'm saying, um, so the active skill is huge. But what they do is as well, they essentially like can act as a very solid for the first five turns with their guard uh, unit in that third final slot. So they don't take a lot of damage. Um, they just kind of chill. They do their thing. And yeah, uh, I think overall they are really solid. So we're in the situation where, okay, now we're like, all right, really good. Um, you know, team's kind of all set up doing their thing. It's not necessarily uh, to say that, you know, um, like this is the perfect team. But I think it's a really good team because of the shortness of the event. So I really, really like it um, quite a bit. So, yeah. Uh, and then obviously we have physical Goku Black. Look, you can physical Goku Black. I think is fine. He does provide support, obviously, uh, for super bosses category units. Uh, there's probably quite a few options you can put here. I wanted to try the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, uh, the general banner unit, but I just haven't gotten around to um, like Doken awakening him and, and using him and everything. Um, but he could be really good. Uh, I think you could probably run AGL Trunks and Mai. To be honest with you, I think they could work as well. You know, they, they'll function properly fine. Uh, they'll do a really good job. You know, they'll be quite consistent. Um, I think they'll do a great job overall. So that's really good. And yeah, I think ultimately there is enough, there's enough uh, options to say that yes, you know, like there's definitely a good replacement for a lot of these units. Strength Mai, so, so Strength Mai could also be really really good here uh, so I think you know that's also a really solid option like a really really solid so yeah I think like for me there's definitely you know definitely consideration to be had uh, for these units I think like they're definitely a hundred percent really 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 solid um, so yeah I think there's a good enough replacements for future saga as well that you can work around it now do you need double strength Gohan uh, I don't know I don't think you need double strength Gohan. Uh, I think you need at least a friend strength Gohan. I think you can get away with double AGL Vegito. I really do. But at the same time, uh, like I say, there's not. It's not guaranteed. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's not. Uh, it's not. How can you say? Uh, uh, yeah. It's going to depend a bit on dupes. I think. Like. Um, yeah, I just think, yeah, like for me, the Future Saga team works really well, but especially if you are taking on some of these, you know, harder content, like it's going to depend on your team and it's going to depend a lot on your, you know, your units and their dupes, I think, especially for Future Saga. I'm not saying they all need to be Rainbow, but I do think probably want them higher than not. But yeah, so good team, uh, good everything, good functionality. Uh, during the Gohan phase is very simple. You're going to have units locked in place, but all of our units for three turns pretty much can survive. So with the items we have, we'll get through the turns, no problem. Trunks' active skill keeps him alive. Uh, future Gohan with Whis survives more than fine. Zamasu, both of them with the Whis survives more than fine. Uh, Vegito, AGL Vegito survives more than fine. I think only physical Goku Black is the only one where if he got locked to first slot and supered, we would be screwed. 
the rest were fine. So that's kind of how it works. Basically, we just kind of roll around. <laughs> we roll around and, and yeah, we roll around and basically go, we're going to use these items and then just speed rush them. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, that's why you get the 12 achievement, uh, the 12 turn achievement done usually with this as well. So like, yeah, I'd say in general, yeah, probably a very, very straightforward, um, very straightforward, you know, like team build run everything about it so yeah honestly guys um just fiddle around with the team and do the best you can uh don't panic too much about these sort of things um i think a lot of the times players can end up you know getting too concerned uh, about what to do and how to do it and i think yeah ultimately at the end of the day you know you should be fine uh should be more than fine so yeah, I think for me, yeah, 100%, definitely a really, really, really fun uh, stage. Like, I think a very fun stage. And yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, I think. Um, for me personally, it was just a lot of fun. So, yeah, uh, but other than that, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, obviously, yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in the video. Uh, comments about your team builds because I think Gohan Gohan felt uh, easier than uh, Gogeta. Gohan felt a lot easier than Gogeta, so I don't want to uh, talk too much. I think Future Saga did well, but yeah, I think Gohan was definitely definitely a lot um, a lot more like easier than um, than the. A lot easier than the uh, you know, Goji the fight. At least to me, it, it felt that way. But yeah, uh, I 100% definitely think uh, you know you should definitely try it out, give it a go. Don't panic too much, and yeah, just enjoy yourself. Uh, I think there's lots of good team builds here. I think Margin Buu will do fine. I think uh, Super Bosses will be great. Super Heroes. You got USS now. Um, Future Saga does great. So yeah, I think there's plenty of options. Obviously, newer players will struggle, but I think don't panic. Really, it's not uh, impossible an event. So I think, yeah, uh, just just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself and have a good time. But yeah, other than that, that is basically it for me. Uh, honestly, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, the team does such a great job, and Trunks's you know, tankiness really, really impressed me. Uh, a ton so I was like super duper happy with how well he did uh, in terms of his tankiness like I thought it was just really really awesome and yeah I enjoyed I enjoyed this event a ton um, it's always always cool for me to use Future Saga because everyone who knows me knows that uh, Future Saga is like one of my favorite teams one of my favorite uh, teams in the game because of obviously the large amount of trunks that I get to use uh, so yeah, definitely was a super duper fun time. But uh, that's basically going to be it for me. Uh, Vegito, I think, is going to sound us out here. Doing a great job. By the way, the follow-up attacks, yeah, unfortunately, they don't hit the threshold and everything. But I mean, like, I think Vegito, you know, like, I think he's still really cool um, a lot. I actually was really impressed with how well he did, you know, in general here. So very impressed overall. But anyway, uh, that is basically it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you need any more help, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, and bye.